Welcome back to my series, Dance Moms Uncovered. The Dance Moms reunion episodes were so completely different from the regular series that it's easy to forget that they are part of the same show. The producers advertised them as being an opportunity to get the inside scoop about the show, but in reality they were just as produced and edited as the rest of the series because there was much more to the reunion episodes than the producers cared to show. Feel free to share your thoughts on the following evidence. First, let's look at scripted lines. Although cast members have said that the show is more produced rather than scripted, it seems that the reunion show was a special exception. When Maddie and Kenzie were guests on the Pretty Basic podcast, Remy Cruz recalls that the producers got her to tweet a particular question for them to use in a reunion special. The tweet she posted was during the season four Girl Talk episode, and it asked the girls if they missed having Brooke and Paige on the team. Fans got upset with Remy because it made Chloe cry, even though it was the producers doing all along. When I was in college, my best friend was like, oh, my aunt is like a producer or something for the show, I don't know. My best friend was like, oh, can you just tweet out? Like, I guess they had already, like they planned the questions for you guys. And then they're like, oh, but we need these tweets to go out so it looks like people specifically ask these questions. So I was like, yeah. So they gave me some question to ask and I didn't think anything of it. And then I never even watched the episode until I found out. I went on Twitter like a few weeks later. People were like, why would you ask that? Like I got attacked because it made one of the girls cry on stage. <laughs> Something else that seems to indicate that parts of these episodes were scripted can be seen during the season four reunion, Guess Who's Coming to the Dance. When the kids are interviewed briefly by Jeff Collins, you can see the cast lip syncing what the others were saying. Melissa does it while Maddie speaks, and then Maddie does it while Mackenzie speaks. There is also an awful lot of concentration on Nia's face when she tells the story of her dog, Olive. We were in the airport we were in Pittsburgh actually and never leave the house without lip gloss (laughs) it is possible that the producers might have given them lines to memorize or even used a teleprompter in this image we can see that a prompter was used during one of the season six reunion shows although it is unclear whether or not this was ever used for the cast or if it was just used to guide the host next let's explore the audience If you've watched these reunion specials a few times, you might have noticed some familiar faces in the audience. Some notable audience members include Kathy's mum, Lifetime actress Cynia Darcy, Sheer Talent owner Alex, dance judge Francisco Thurston, and Lifetime reality stars Marcy and Jordan from the show Pretty Wicked Mums. Another audience member, Shane Davidson, has revealed that he was able to attend the filming of the season four, episode 32 reunion because Abby had invited him. And so we started chatting with Abby and before you knew it, she invited us very kindly to go to North Hollywood to the filming of the reunion show. There is a video online of producer Brian Stinson standing on stage, getting the audience to clap along to the song Freaks Like Me, despite the girls not being there yet. You can tell from the background that this happened during the season six reunion episode, the girls say goodbye. This explains why the audience seems so unenthusiastic during the girls' performance with Todrick Hall. A few other things you might notice if you watch the audiences is how incredibly small some of the season four audiences are, as well as the fact that sometimes the exact same audience footage is reused. For instance, the same audience is used in both season three, The Smoke Before the Fire, and the Dance Moms Chatter episodes. Another audience is reused in the season three Tell All episodes and in the season five Girl Talk. In both of these instances, the audience is sitting in the exact same seats, wearing the exact same clothes and have not aged a day. This suggests that sometimes the producers couldn't be bothered using an audience, and so they would simply edit the same clips over different episodes in the hopes that we wouldn't notice. Evidence number three. Manufactured drama. The reunions were also an opportunity for the producers to exaggerate fights that had happened earlier in the season. During a live stream with the Candy Apples mum Melanie, Kathy recalls Laurie screaming at her during a reunion show over her choice of music. Kathy says that she was amazed that the mums could bicker in the reunion show about things that weren't real and things that they were forced to do by production. So I'm friends with Laurie also, even though I felt that on one of the reunion shows, she like annihilated me. And I was like, oh my God, this lady, she was yelling at me about my choice of music. And I was like, 
I don't pick that music. The, the show picks it. It always amazed me how the ALDC moms could fight and argue on the reunion shows as if the situations were real. That always amazed me because they would be like arguing about something and I would be thinking, well, that wasn't real. They told us to do that. Kira has also explained that during a reunion episode, Jess was happy to pretend that Kira had thrown a water bottle at her earlier in the season, even though it was really thrown at a producer. Kira believes that she played along with the producer's storyline because she wanted to make good TV. As I threw the water bottle, they were able to cut it and make it look like I threw the water bottle at Jess. When we film reunion, we have not seen what airs. I, Scott, the producer, so he comes in and he's like, well, you know, when you got mad at Tess, well, we were able to, and he's like all excited. We were able to cut it and make it look like you got mad at Jess and you threw the water bottle at Jess. So that's how we're playing it. And um, we're going to mention that Jess is all on board. You know, Jess is like, oh, sorry, loves the show, loves everything about it. Like I'm all in. Let's make this the best TV ever. Four multiple takes. The reunion episodes were certainly not filmed in the order we saw in the final cut. In fact, several lines and scenes were filmed multiple times. Shane Davidson has explained that the girls don't dance live at the reunions between the fights like it seems. He says that they are pre-recorded before reunion filming begins and inserted into the episode during the editing process. He says that the audience reactions are also overlaid in the editing process, so they aren't filmed while the kids are actually dancing. But a lot of people may not know that a lot of the dance sequences are actually recorded before the show and then they'll just do an overlay of audience reaction. So we were most fortunate to see the wonderful girls up there dancing, doing all of the routines. And then of course they filmed the reunion show. We also know that there are probably multiple takes that are filmed of these dances, thanks to some of the production notes from the episodes that were sold on eBay. In the notes describing the filming of Chloe's solo, I Know It's Too Late, the phrase reset for lighting is used. This suggests that they probably restarted the dance on at least one occasion. These notes are also how we know that Jeff Collins filmed his lines to camera before the actual reunions took place. And finally, we have Jeff's true colours. There were several thinly veiled threats that were made during these episodes that are a lot more horrifying when you know about the restrictive contracts that the cast were under. It's aggravating to hear Jeff ask Kelly in season two if she will return for the next season, talking as though he isn't forcing her to stay by threatening her with a contract. Again in season three, he shows his true colours when Christy asks if she can leave with Kelly, and Jeff says very bluntly, no you may not. And when Jeff tells the comedian guests that a check is in the mail for them, you can hear Christy and Kelly yelling in the background, Jeff always says that. So Kelly, what do you got planned? What's Our family has a lot of thinking and communicating to do to figure out what we want to do before next season starts. Now, so you got to decide whether or not you're going to come back or not, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we hope to see you again. We'll see. All right. <laughs> I need to ask you to leave because that was the agreement that we came to. Can I go too? So, no, you may not. <laughs> Where's our money? Where's our money? <laughs> the check is in the mail. Check is uh, in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> all right, listen. All in all, it's no surprise that Christy has declared that she hated filming the reunion episodes. And honestly, looking at the other mums, it doesn't look like they had a good time either. I f hate the reunion, okay? I f awful. hate the reunion. Awful. Uh, just before you go on, I can tell you, I have actually had like massive anxiety attacks standing in my closet, getting ready to pack for the reunion because I know I'm flying out to LA. And I was just like, oh, I hate this. Hate it. Hate the reunion. So what do you guys think? Do you think that these episodes feel more fake and over-exaggerated than the regular ones? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.